Welcome back to Houston Life. Just before the break, we introduced you to the beautiful new umbrella patio brightening up Batanga Restaurant in downtown Houston. Well, oh my gosh, it's time to get their taste of their delicious Latin cuisine. Joining us now is the owner, Brian Fastoff. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Congratulations. That's a great installation on your lovely patio. I love that. Weather finally cooperating, sort of. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. We'll see how it goes uh, for the rest of the week, but it's, it seems like it's starting to cooperate some. What was the inspiration behind this art installation? Because obviously we just saw some video of it. It's so visual, and uh, you guys are probably going to be, you know, harassed by tons of people wanting Instagram pictures. <laughs> well, yeah, it is uh, very Instagrammable. Um, it's, we kind of got inspired by just our travels. Uh, my wife and I travel quite a bit, so going to see other cultures, and we've seen similar, similar projects around the world in Spain, uh, Mexico City, that kind of stuff. So... Um, it was just something we wanted to do. We had a, we had a great space for it, and uh, it's, it's turned out well so far. You know, your restaurant has got really a cult following for many years, and um, what I love about it is not only the food but the music. You kind of bring all of that culture to downtown Houston, and, you're, and that's basically all the travels that you guys have done. That's kind of how you built the, the menu, right? Yeah, it's, a lot of it is based on that, especially some of our new stuff that we have uh, that we're going to be showing you here in just a minute. Um, but yeah, we, we do do that. We have live music uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, Sunday for brunch as well. Um, we're kind of like a United Nations of, right. of restaurants. Uh, you know, we have all kinds of cultures that visit us. We, we try and do a little bit of each cuisine. Um, so it's a lot of fun. The music typically stays a little bit more Latin, but um, it's fantastic. People dance. It's, it's, we have really, really good musicians as well. It's also great. I mean, Brandon and I will stop by before we go see a show at Jones Hall or Alley Theater. You guys are in such a perfect spot. You today, Brian, you've brought some of your menu items, and you're going to show us how to make some of your signature dishes. So let's start over here. What do you have here? Well, this is actually a traditional uh, Spanish dish. Um, it's called a montadito. Montadito is typically an open-faced sandwich. Um, we decided to put ours in a jar just because it's cute. Yeah, um, it's pretty. But it's, uh, it's grilled baguette. It's, it's tomato. It's smoked trout is, is the dish on it. Ooh. And the way we make the, uh, what makes it really good is when you put it on the bread itself, you can actually take raw garlic and you oh. actually rub it on the bread itself. And so it makes it... Oh, wow. And then just spread it on top yeah, like Yeah, and then this. you just spread it on. So it's a nice, it's a cold dish. It's a nice dish for the kind of weather we're having now. Yeah, that we're not um, But it's, it's, it's really nice. You know, it's, um, it's fantastic. Right yeah. There you go. Thank you. Beautiful. Okay. And this next dish, what do you have here? The second dish is uh, our barbacoa and uh, potato stack. Mm. Um, this is something we, we came up with a little while ago. It's a, uh, basically like a scalloped Parmesan potatoes. Uh, it has uh, braised beef cheeks in the middle. Oh, wow. Um, and then it's got a nice bechamel sauce with red onions and fine herbs, and then we have spicy chicharrones on top. You know, this is a really interesting. This reminds me of um, pasticcio from a, like a, a, a Greek dish. Yeah, right? a little bit. It, yeah, has, yeah. it looks like that, but it has that Latin flair to it. Yeah, it's it's layered like that as well. Um, we do have a we actually do a vegetarian dish like this as well, which is gluten free, um, which is the Parmesan mm -hmm. potatoes. The uh, the barbacoa actually came together. I was honestly snacking on the line and it kind of oh worked together gosh. one day and then we kind of built the rest of the recipe so it was it turned out really well for us and I love this too so now it's almost like can I say an egg roll is that what uh, it is very similar they're okay. called uh, lumpia it's actually uh, it's like a Filipino um, spring roll oh. um, and part of the way that kind of works back with us is the Philippines was conquered by Spain for 300 years so their their uh, food culture uh, definitely has a lot of Spanish influence as well um, so we put this together. Um, it's 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 new on our menu as well. It's got a little kind of sweet chili sauce that comes with it. We like serving them in the in the cigar boxes Very as long cool. as as long as we have them. Right. Um, you have to get a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the grilled octopus, that's the demo for us today. So let's go ahead and fire it up. Yeah, so this is, um, if you guys, either one of you want to jump in and yeah. help out yeah. a lot. Right. Or let's we just need it. a little bit of okay. olive oil. In, w in this just pan? All three of them are warm right now. Okay. And just a little bit in each. Um, it's pretty simple. This is actually a classic Spanish dish as well. Ours is a little bit different. In Spain, you typically get more potatoes and, uh, and uh, octopus. Um, you can put all that in each, one all in each dish. All of this? Dish. Yeah, sure. Put them all, one, one in each dish. All yeah. of it here? Yeah, sure. Just okay. be careful. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Love <laughs> be the careful. sizzle. And I'm putting this in yeah, here. Yeah, you can just put that in right in here as well. Okay. We'll get that going. And the potatoes. And the potatoes are just over there. And those you said, those are like red peppers with a bit of oil? So this is called sofrito. So oh, it's... Uh, there are red peppers, uh, flat leaf parsley, onions, garlic. Uh, there actually is a little bit of jalapeno in there, but it doesn't, um, it doesn't have any of the spice to it. Um, and then those are sweated down and done with uh, olive oil. 
Um, typically in the restaurant, we, uh, we parboil the, the, uh, the potatoes. And then once we're done that, we get a little crisp on them. Uh, we'll, if we leave this alone for just okay. a second, you can actually take a little salt and pepper here. Um, you don't do too much because it gets a lot of the flavor from the bouillon that it, that it, uh, that we boil it I in the first time. I Courtney doesn't even need instructions. She's just doing She's her. She's going at it. Her pro shopping. I just follow, he did it Go first. It. I did it. Okay. It's pretty simple. Um, obviously, in studio, it's going to be a little different. But um, so once this kind of stuff gets warm and everything, we, we uh, we'll make you a little space here. And we can plate it up. It's pretty so simple. So how long do we want to cook this for minute-wise? I mean, just a couple minutes? Yeah, so this stuff is actually already cooked. So you have oh. to boil down the octopus in okay. like a quart bouillon. And that takes uh, about 45 minutes to an hour. Mm. Um, so once we do that, then we portion it out. And we come back out here just to get a little bit of the, you know, kind of sear on it. Let's so go can, ahead and plate it because we're yeah, tying sure. our time. Are we putting we this first? Yeah, sure. You want, I'm sorry. You want to put the uh, potatoes, potatoes down first. Potatoes first. Okay. So they'll just come and you just do that vertically. Vertically. Okay. Like, All in a oh. line. And the same thing with the octopus. And then, <laughs> honestly, just the same thing with sofrito. Mm. And the presentation, of course, makes all the difference, right, oh, Brian? Right. No pressure. Yeah, it does. It's, it's great. So we'll see how she does. Oh, She's God. only got one more item left. One little piece of octopus is kind of running away. but I know. I got that, a rogue. That's great. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, uh, Courtney's going to put our topping on top. Nicely done, Savala. Not bad, Looking huh? Looking very good. And by the way, while she is plating this dish, if you are interested in visiting, Batanga is located right on the corner of Congress and Travis downtown. And if you want more info about their menu and upcoming live music schedule, you can visit their website, batangahouston.com. Voila, finished product. Not bad, huh, Sha? I mean, yeah, you know, pretty, not bad. pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for dropping by. Yeah, oh, thank we you. appreciate it. Congratulations on the arts installation, too. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you down there.